Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 Medieval Battle. In this match against Jafalrus, I have the Teutonic Order with the Polish allies against his Hungarians. So, the Polish allies give me flex. I have a fair number of light missiles if I want them, or massed missiles. In terms of infantry, I can of course get terrible raw spearmen or peasants. The Teutonic Order brings Baltic levies. These are local converted subject peoples. They fight as medium foot, below average, which is unfortunate, minus 25 POA across the board. It wears cohesion checks, protected, light spear swordsmen. That being said, they are a little bit better in the melee than irregular foot, and 30 is quite cheap. Uh, I believe they are also maneuverable, which is nice for getting those flanks. X-Men, just your bog standard heavy weapon. Defensive Spearmen, if I want them, or Armored Spearmen. I do get a good light cavalry line, thanks to the Poles, including the Lithuanian Light Horse, which also have Swordsmen. In terms of cavalry, I can get various knights, mounted crossbowmen, and cheap cavalry. Battlefield is slightly constrained, Key terrain, this hill, these two patches of rough. Let's look at the Hungarian list. Other Teutonic knights, <laughs> not sure if that would have happened, but we'll go with it. Knights and sergeants, Zecklers, uh, so 41 points for above average, some armor, half bow light spear swords. Obviously, they can't stand up to knights or frontally charged spearmen. But they're very cheap and they can put some pressure on and get flank attacks in. Nomad Horse Archers, 36 points, so what, 4 points? Maybe even, no, 8 points cheaper than an Ancients. Seckler Light Horse, full on bow, light spear sword for 34. Great buy. Nomad Light Horse Archers, a standard wagon, which I doubt he'll bring. It's possible, I suppose. Infantry is bad. Three units of defensive spearmen, two units of irregular foot, crossbowmen, archers. Missile complement is fine, but the melee infantry is bad. So I think what I should do is concentrate on seizing that hill, which will take all the lights I can muster because he'll start with cavalry and the like nearby. And then medium foot, medium foot, missile troops, and then knights across these open plane here. Okay, so we've got a little bit counterintuitive. Few knights, only five units total. A large number of light infantry maxed out on massed missiles. Decent number of Baltic levies for the rough. And an extra armored spearman. We also got light cavalry and cheap light spear cavalry, though no mounted crossbowmen due to the large number of effective non-knightly cavalry that he could get. My fear with this setup is that he will have gone all in on knights and I'll get rolled. But if he's gone with a more mobile force, I should have a chance to shoot it up. Next turn, see that force comp and deployment. There's the standard wagon that I said he would not bring. Cool. Um, let's see, and unfortunately, Pretty big mob of knights, which I was also kind of hoping he wouldn't bring. But that's alright, we'll figure it out or something. Uh, at least we can pretty easily take control of this hill, which, that's no surprise, it was closer to my side after all. We do have nice cheap cavalry support. I am pleased that I brought these. In fact, I think I should have brought out to crossbowmen now that I'm looking at this setup. But the first turn setup is always kind of a guessing game. It's impossible to really tell what's going to happen. We'll dump still more lights over to this right side. I do definitely have light superiority. The question is, am I going to have time to take any advantage of it? And we will also 
bravely trundle forward with the entire main infantry line. Oh, except we're not going to do that because I need to move other stuff out of the way. Now we can bravely trundle. Want to shift these knights over towards his knights? Because the best thing to fight knights in this game seems to be either crossbowmen hiding in rough ground or, failing that, other knights. Simple enough start. I suppose if this is some kind of hardcore tournament situation, maybe I would hang out here, here, and hmm, here, or just anchor on the forest and I'll hang out here, but he'd probably decline an assault on that kind of position anyway, so we might as well slug it out in the open. Next turn. <laughs> That's very annoying. I need to just find a way to work my way around the standard wagon. At least it can't charge. Okay, in the meantime, these crossbowmen up the hill, get our knights into position, and keep pushing our own not very good cavalry. I assume these represent what local local nobles I mean of the Teutonic army very few of the men are Teutonic knights even these are knights and sergeants and then you have the various mercenaries and professional soldiers and then local levies who owe a certain number of days service uh, just as like a Spartan army very few of the men were Spartan here very few of the men are knights forward. Ooh, I don't really like offering myself as a target like that yet. Let's get these crossbowmen on this ridge and then shift these knights over as well. Next turn. Okay, let's see. Well, we are about to be in master archer range. No, thank you. In the meantime, we can occupy this wood and push our light cavalry towards engaging with his light cavalry. And we can start coming down off our hill here. I don't know if I want to push these crossbowmen left or just stay in the rough ground. We will start inching forward on the right here with our lights to engage. Next turn. Just out of bow shot then. Might get disrupted. Yep, not a huge deal. 
narrowing the line, but pressing to contact here. We'll get disrupted for sure. Unless we luck out, but I'm not expecting that. Well, lucky us then. Okay, um, let's go for disruptions. The question is, who? Block them in, pull these archers out, get these knights forward, march, and shoot, and shoot. They'll just pull back, it's not a big deal. Inch forward, inch forward. Huh. Do I bother? Seems like a waste of arrows. I don't bother. Shuffle over here. Keep your freedom of action. Just hang back for the moment. Three missile units to two, but we do have Baltic levies nearby. That's bowshot there. They're maneuverable, that's nice. The Baltic impact foot are warriors and unmaneuverable. So the levies may kind of suck at actually fighting, but at least they're good at getting into contact. Inch forward. Okay, and now for the good stuff, hopefully. Do that, and shoot. Get some javelins in there, held firm. Try again. Held firm. That's okay. Get the knights close. And shoot. And again. Good. Now fire. Held firm. If we move here. No, it's not really. Oops, we revealed units, so we can't undo it. Too bad. Uh, next, prepare to charge. And half arc. That's fine. Prepare to charge. Then we sit back on the left, and what do we do here? Do we move here and turn? No, I think we face that way in case he should counter charge our lights at all. Next turn, Jafar says, in case it's not obvious, I uh, kind of forgot what my original plan with this army was. Yeah, it's kind of the uh, nature of play by email, right? You put in a turn, then you don't play for a bit, you come back, you have no idea what the hell it was you were supposed to be doing. Okay, well, let's start with, let's attempt a disruption, and again, good, now charge, evade, catch them, do we break them though? Yes, we're in rough ground now, and ooh, ooh. that's less than ideal, okay take cover in the wood where everybody will be disordered. Next up, shoot and charge. Good. Then let's shoot again and Shuffle up here to engage in harassment. Block them from charging. And let's occupy this rough ground and shoot back while we 
Do we surge forward here? If we do, we'll need to move up with everyone. Let's consider that. In the meantime, shuffle you off. No, that's too close. Move here. Get ready. Okay. So now I have to consider what to do. Well, let's get into charge range of this unit. And do we do it? Mm, no, I don't think I want to just move up here and then get hit from behind. Go for this slow advance. Slow and steady wins the day. Keep them blocked in though. Let's see, archers might be more useful fighting other archers. Crossbowmen will have more armored targets to mess with here. And next turn, we can begin shuffling forward on our left. Next turn, sort of rally horn on. No bad. Or searcher, it's too bad. Yeah, that's going to be brutal. Lose his cavalry unit. Okay. Hello, hello. Very interesting. Huh. Start with close range fire and like cavalry harassment right go for the disruption they hold firm cover our crossbowmen we'll turn them away so that if he charges and strips us out of control he can't just charge our crossbows bit obnoxious but there you go Okay, and then what? Then we can begin our advance here. Stay facing this way so we can try to move into the rough ground next turn. Bring out the knights. Okay. Then what? Do we do this charge? I think we kind of have to, though it feels like a waste of time now. Uh, too bad. Well, we'll just frag them with shooting. Good. Good. Really now? Well, let's pin them with the crossbowmen so they can't just fall back once our knights move. Um, okay. Occupy this higher ground. 
Shift down. It's a waste of arrows, but no reason not to at this point. Shot at this unit, that's right. Damn. Oh yeah, you, you're so screwed. Um, run this, this way. Try to get away. Or something, who knows. Do we have a commander that we can plunk onto this unit? Yeah, let's see if that helps them hold. Okay, so what's he saying? So one of these things that I should have held back in more open ground near my spawn. The rough ground and hills in your zone are not really ideal for the Hungarian combo of knights and shooters. I imagine nosy knows, but I have not yet learned how to use horse archers to dig determined defenders out of good positions. Yeah, I mean, the downside is that this open country back here is downhill, and there's this forest I could use for an approach, and oh no. Don't know what I was thinking there, to be honest. Interesting. Well, this is terrible, but we're just going to have to ignore it if we can. Let's shoot and again, held firm, turn away, shoot and again. That's more like it. Push into contact. And... Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Held firm. Too bad. Do we charge or start wheeling into position? Probably want to start wheeling into position for the main contest. Well, while we think about that... Let's work on fragging these guys. Easy enough. Chase them down. Take cover in the wood. And what? Do we work on breaking them by shooting? Probably not a bad idea. Good. Pour in more arrows? Yeah, why not? <clears throat> Let's see. Intercept the horse archers. They move to threaten our knights. And start moving the knights. Maybe here-ish. It'll be hard with all those lights in the way. Do I charge here? I guess I should, because otherwise I'm going to get shot at as well. So, charge. Good. Drive off these Secklers. That's fine. Okay. This is terrible, and there's nothing we can do about it. So we're just going to have to ignore it. Then what? Good. If I move here, the knights can get at me, so I probably want to stick to the rough. Move 
here. No. Damn. Move here. And... Yeah, that's okay. Shuffle forward. Oh, this is very awkward. This is very bad. Yeah, it's to be expected. Let's get these on the wing with all this light cavalry roaming around. I'm not gonna bother. Damn, these guys are not well positioned. Waste of arrows, bolts rather. And then we'll start arcing back around. It'll take them a while to get into action. Next turn. Up 11%. That's a healthy start. Well, but now it's down to 7, so it's not anything guaranteed. That was a risky move. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, I have to turn these knights around, unfortunately. It'd be a giant waste of time. Just withdrawing to the cover of the knights. And he's making sure that when I break that unit, my unit will pursue off the map. Well, we'll take the bait. They'll be back. To the cover of the forest. This is a little bit awkward. Hmm. Let's just turn and be ready to move. Here I could shoot or charge, not both. Let's charge. And general up and charge. Uh-huh. Let's get Way from a bad cohesion check. Does that effect a light jab? Nope. Give them a shove, they'll evade. Start moving to intercept. And unfortunately, we have to waste time. Turning around here, what you might do is charge with the Nomad Horse Archers blocked in with light cavalry and then move in for a flank with these knights. There would not be very much I could do about that. Well, we might as well take advantage. It's not often you get a target like that. Held firm, but they are cut up pretty badly. Okay. Baltic levies. Hmm. Archers or knights? That's the question. We might be able to force a disrupt on the knights, but it's fairly unlikely. Let's do something stupid and see if it pays off. No, so they're screwed. Um, that's okay. Get out of the way. 
and to open up. They'll overrun this unit and then we can push up when it's clear. Now we could also move here, in which case you kind of have the cover of the rough ground available. And you can only charge to the open by abandoning his archers to their fate. So let's try that. And also threaten these crossbowmen with a charge and advance our own knights to charge range. Okay. So who's left? Right. No really juicy targets here. I guess we can try to shoot back here. And turn back around so we don't evade this unit. Oh, that was a misclick. I guess it worked out. <laughs> okay. These spears should wait over here. Don't really want to charge in yet. They're up on a hill and we blocked our own fallback. Unfortunately, I didn't think of that. So I'll leave it as is for now. Jafaris is threatening me with his angry wagon. Oh, that's too bad. I was banking on winning that quickly. Now it's going to be not so quick. Do they disrupt? Nope. Alright, he chooses to take out the Baltic levies. That's fine. I guess we're going to have to work on pretty much auto-breaking this unit. How annoying. If I charge here, he flanks. If I charge here, he can charge my Baltic foot. Wheel about. Do we have enough? Probably not. Well, while we think about that... Right, um, who do we try to disrupt? I guess we try for these spears, even though it's not likely. No. Damn, the levees are going to get overrun. Thing for it then. Nope. Let's if we charge here, we might pursue into the crossbows, which would be okay until we got flanked. I think we need to stand. Alright, try to catch them. 
Nope. Right, goodbye. This is such a waste of a good unit. <laughs> such a waste. Alright, well, in the meantime... Keep the pressure on this disrupted unit. This is terrible. Yeah. Oh yeah, more crossbowmen. What do we even do with you? Maybe move here so that when they break we can start working our way around. So we'll try that. This could be going more smoothly. Next turn. As expected. Surprisingly, we didn't break right away. Oop. Unfortunate. Got a frag. It's not immediately relevant, but it might be later. He's <laughs> zone of control locking me with this stupid standard wagon. Exactly, yeah. Okay, well, let's stop chasing these horse archers and our knights and instead do it with our cavalry. Okay, next up. Do we get bounced off here yet? No, we do not. Hmm, this all seems like a waste of ammo. Venture out. What do we do with you? Nothing. You're completely hosed. Alright, well, say goodbye. Um, oh my god, okay. One second here. Okay, this cat is now settled in on my lap and hopefully going to be quiet. You can only hope. This is unfortunate. I'm really tempted to charge, but if I get stuck here, then I'll get butchered. Um, there is a solution, I suppose. Yeah. Let's go with that. And then let's just ride past the crossbow and can flank them later. Next, we can threaten this flank. Even know what to do with these light archers. Uh, I can shuffle this way. Anyway, and charge. And you're gonna just help march behind, hopefully. Next up, let's work on these defensive spearmen. Hold firm. Come on. This is terrible, of course. Well, hopefully when they break, they don't affect anyone else with panic. You can push towards these masked archers. 
Same with these Baltic levees. Okay, I guess we're gonna have a standoff here because we're not charging. Next turn. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, mildly unpleasant. Right, finish slaying them, maybe? No. Okay, so the question is, do I do this or this? Well, we can kill their light cavalry with these knights. Or shove them off, either way. So do that. Let's see where that takes us. Hmm. Break. Push on that flank. Actually, now push on that flank. And uh, yeah, murder their stupid faces, please. Goodbye. Take cover in the rough. Do we care about you? Not really. No, we don't. Let's ignore this situation so that we can try to yeah, do that. Ah, uh, yeah. Get into charge range get into charge range. Hopefully the archers hold firm. Good. Right, the crossbowmen. I suppose you're on low ammo. You're on low ammo. Everyone's on low ammo. Okay, well, start plunking away, I suppose. I mean, what else are you going to do at this point? Just getting ready to shoot the knights, it's not a bad idea. We won't shoot with our last round of full ammo at pursuers, so that's minus 50 and no thank you to minus 50. This is cleaning up nicely though. Next turn. Rally on the light cav. And on the knights, more importantly. Oop. That's too bad. Bye, guys. Another break. He's going to pursue into the Baltic levees if he can. Well, instead, they're just blocked from charging. I suppose that's pretty bad, too. Of 
right. Let's go not for the impact. Okay, um, hi. Get this flank off. Pursue them into the rear of the crossbowmen. Good. And start hitting these knights. Maybe low on ammo, but we still have a lot of units. This. I mean, the charge impact is pretty good. I'm gonna let this light unit break, I don't care. That's fine. Push that way. Hmm, I was hoping to turn toward the knights, but that'll do. I mean, we've nothing better to do here. Try a charge. Held firm. That's not surprising. Okay. Well, if there's no rallies, that's a wrap. And the GG. we go. Well, like Jafalris said, this is probably more a matter of army composition. The hordes of crossbowmen versus the squishy, squishy, shootable cavalry was not likely to go well for him. Combine that with the big patches of rough ground that I could hide from knights and... It wasn't guaranteed to go this way or anything, but those were some nice advantages. Uh, yeah, favorable terrain and good army composition, or lucky, depending on how you want to view it in terms of what I chose versus what he chose. Um, I think the terrain is particularly important because one thing he mentioned was feeling not good about having attacked here early on. But the thing is, the alternative would have been to hold back from this hill. But then where? Down here? Okay, what about further back than that? Oh, under this hill? There weren't great options for holding back. Even if he did hold back, okay, away from this hill, fine, away from this hill, what does that leave? Well, there's the water here, jutting into the map even a little bit more. There's this narrow band between the water and this forest. Uh, it's not enough space for cavalry to maneuver. So, with that in mind, I think had he wanted to take a more defensive posture, an infantry heavy force holding, you know, here to here, what's a medium foot lurking in the forest, would have been better. Um, but that's pretty limiting too, especially given that the. Teutonic Order gets a very decent medium arm of a swarm of Baltic levies if needed. And the crossbowmen aren't too shabby in melee and forests either. So, that concludes that. A good game to Jafalris, as always. And, till next time.